Hello YouTube! Welcome back to the TriCraft server, this is Kankadia, we are playing the DNS Tech Pack. And we have a problem, Minecraft. So here's the problem. I'm right now standing on one of the many wonderful mushroom biomes. There, there have been an uh, increased spawn rate in, in DNS Tech Pack. I love these things. They're actually a wonderful source of mushrooms. And they've got great you know, mushrooms all over the place. Uh, just I love these things to death. So here's the problem, though. We've been having a lot of trouble with lag on the server, specifically block lag. I might not do it now. Okay, so right now it's actually not too bad. But uh, we, we've been having a lot of lag issues, and we, we think the problem is that because these uh, mushroom biomes are normally in vanilla Minecraft very rare, you find a couple per world, and usually way out in the ocean, so they're rarely ever ever chunk loaded. So, um, this, uh, and in this mod pack, the increase spawn rate of them. However, we're pretty sure that because their spawn rate has been increased for, the, for these biomes, the spawn rate of mushrooms in those biomes has stayed constant. And as you know, they're, they're all over the place in a, in, a, in a mushroom island in vanilla. So they're also all over the place in, in a DNS tech pack. So we have decided we're going to have a mass culling of all these mushrooms. Not all... Not all of them, and even if we did kill all of them, there's still, look, look at this, there, there's like 30 right here. The problem we're running into is that because there are so many of, the, of these mushrooms, we believe we have reached the entity cap for the overworld, meaning that mo hostile mobs rarely, if ever, spawn. I mean, I, even during Blood Moon, that, which, and the spawn rate is supposed to be about three times higher, we're not getting that many, I mean, I'm going to do a reload here, there we go. We're, we're, we're not getting that many mobs, which is, again, is not bad but it's also not as interesting plus you know if we want to get stuff like ender pearls we really really do need that stuff until we get into the end until we get uh you know cursor spawner etc so we have saved ourselves a small task and that task is going to be to kill as many of these things as possible now i have many tools at my disposal here i have a shovel which as you see is not terribly useful it, it takes three hits that's not really going to work oh actually hang on a sec very cool. I have been scanning like crazy with, with, with uh, the Thalmcraft thermometer. Gotten quite a quite a bit of, of things from all different kinds of uh, items and even creatures. Now that I have Bestia, so I, uh, getting back to a shovel, not going to work. So that can work. How about an axe? Well, that action is not too bad. So I can, uh, this is a, a decanized sodium um, axe here. Oh, by the way, those who don't know the reference, I am almost positive that decanized sodium is uh, the chemical substance used in the um, Avatar movies for unobtainium. Decani is, I think it's like ni niobium or niidium. It's like a really high element that's supposedly unobtainium, supposedly uh, unable to be found. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So it's actually not too bad weaponry, I must say. And it makes a pretty good pickaxe and it makes a really sweet sword. 13 attack damage. The downside, as far as I can tell, is that in terms of the mineability, the, the, the mineability is actually fairly high. I'm pretty sure you can actually mine obsidian with the adecanized sodium pickaxe. I've covered that before, even though I actually have an obsidian uh, like hammer I use instead of that. However, the speed at which they, they are mined is equal to wood. So in other words, if I were to use the shovel to try and break through, uh, say, uh, say, say, say um, uh, iron gravel, which I find all over the place, it would in fact... Um, be able to mine it. You know, you ordinarily need, you know, to make iron gravel, you need an iron or a better shovel. So it does count as a high level um, item, but it's incredibly slow. It's almost, it's almost like this slow. Actually, it's slower than that in order, in order to break the item. So getting back to it, the axe it kind of works, but this one's actually almost had it. I got two hits. Let me kill two more mushrooms here. Oh, only one more. Okay, so that that the axe not going to work. They I could use this hammer but i'm not sure about it let me see yeah hammer not so good for attack this is actually my iron hammer so it's not still not too bad but death from above still not doing good so i decided to have a little bit of fun with this and i made an item i never made before which apparently does not have a hell of a lot of use and especially in this tech pack is not very useful at all that is the chainsaw from Industrial Craft 2. Now there are two kinds of chainsaws. There is the normal chainsaw and the advanced chainsaw. The advanced chainsaw, I believe, is is, is made through advanced machinery or advanced generators. Uh, let me look this up. Here we go. Uh, gravitation suite, which is, which is an upgrade, I believe, an upgrade to 
uh, IC2E, but it adds a lot of extra, I a couple extra items. So this is what I made, the, the Tier 1 uh, cha Chainsaw. So I got this. Let's see what, how it happens when I use this. Oh. Ooh. That has possibility. Okay, now the key is I want to be able to use this in a group at once. Oh, oh yeah, that's why it's awesome. Okay, watch this. Ah! If you right-click with a chainsaw, it actually acts like a shear. And if you shear a mushroom, it turns into a cow. That's actually kind of cool. Unfortunately, I just want to kill these guys. Apparently, it's also it's also used for um for cutting down trees. That's the, that's the main use. So I'm gonna go around with my chainsaw and kill a whole bunch of mu mushrooms. <sighs> okay. Uh, ugh. Okay. So that took about 20 minutes for me to basically clear every mushroom I could find in this area here, which I probably uh, loaded up. That's quite a bit of time, considering we also have to do this area here, this area here, and this area here, which is just what I know about. Also, I know about this area here. There's probably a lot more we haven't even touched yet. And this chainsaw is just its too short range. As much as I like the personal approach to you know going up against something, you just ribbing at the pieces with, with a chainsaw it's just too impractical so i'm actually gonna have to think about a different way of doing this i'm thinking some kind of bow i'm gonna give this some thought and be back in a little bit hello again i'm back so i had an idea and i hope this works it may not i can't even think of it so what i did was i looked at the various items i could make and i thought one thing i looked that kind of interesting to me would be bows specifically the ones from uh redstone arsenal unfortunately those require a bit more technology than i have at the moment i never really want to I, I do actually need to get into the thermal expansion just a little bit i wanted to use industrial craft as my ore processor just my own personal preference but i wanted to use uh thermal expansion for a couple of things um and one of them is to make mossy cobble because i want to use ways at my basement but i, I also want to need, need to get into apparently in order to make the redstone arsenal stuff so that's not awesome Okay, it's a coven witch. So what I did was I went into Tinker's Weaponry, which I've played with a little bit in the past. I think it was actually before it was split off as its own separate thing. It was just regular long bows. So this is a short bow from Tinker's Conduit. I couldn't really make very much, unfortunately. And I know most of the materials that it needs to be made out of make it very, very slow draw speed. The larger problem is I'm pretty sure that the damage it makes is also very low. See, max damage, three. And the reason is because I'm using flint or copper or iron arrows. And these are best I can make at the moment. Most of the arrows that you can make through this absolutely suck. The only way you can make them stronger is if you load this stuff up with um, with, with nether quartz, which we don't have at the moment. Let's see if I can do any damage at all with this thing. I do. I would like the... Um... Oh, that wasn't too bad. It was, it was eight. Uh, the accuracy, I will say, is terrible so if it hits it takes a few shots okay so that, that that was the flint so i think it's the one directly to the right is, is what it uses so let's try the iron okay that one seems to do well yeah it's pretty much it, i can't believe it. it it's pretty much the same way okay, they're, they're dying in the sludge it's pretty much the same damage whether I use flint or iron, which is surprising. Yeah, yet yeah, it's approximately it's on average three unless you get a critical in these things. And get the accuracy. I mean, you, the draw speed is 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 not great. Uh, testing crafting table on seared bricks as it spawns in. Uh, sure. Sure, but I am recording. Yeah, this is not going as well as I hoped it would. So any, let's try the copper. It'd probably be the same kind of thing. Yep, the damage is pretty much the same. The accuracy, I would say, at this this level is pretty much worse than... Ah, uh, Mr. Payton got me with the boobies. I would say the accuracy is pretty much worse than a vanilla bow at, at this point. So... It, it, this is the same problem I encountered the, the last time. Uh, and Scoop's going for the the big boobies. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so my experiment with, with, with ranged weaponry was, was unsuccessful. So I'm going to have to go back to the, the old standard, just killing them with, with, with a sword. Because the chainsaw, while it was, it was fun, it wasn't really necessary. I'm realizing though how, how difficult it's actually going to be to kill all these. I mean, look at this concentration. This is what's lagging up our, our, our server. This is what's causing van, uh, vanilla hostile mobs not to be able to spawn. And, yeah. And it's clogging my inventory too. I actually have, I, wait, I have, I've, I've got a about I got I got one and a half stacks of leather and quite a bit of raw beef. I'm gonna put those eventually in my uh, spawn house. So anyone who wants it can come pick those up when they when they want them. Let's see here. Sorry, I just got to move some stuff around. Yeah, Mr. Payton's been having a lot of difficulty here, so no worries. Look at Houston, some of it works. Actually, wait, is that the, why is that the uncrafting table from Twilight Forest? Because that thing I know works. It's, it's, it's not great. I find it's only useful if you happen to have a lot of loot. Because I think the thing, thing actually does require levels in order to function. I'm out of bread, so I have to eat raw beef. Ah, yeah, well, steak tartar. Alright then, so that was not as successful as I was hoping it was going to be. I was hoping I'd be able to do some more damage. I was hoping that maybe the mechanics weren't as specific as the AA turned out to be. So, in order to make a decent short bow from Tinker's Weaponry, I need to make uh, I need to make a trip to the Nether, which is actually fortuitous. Because I was planning on making not just an, a trip to the Nether, but also a Nether portal, namely one in our spawn village. So I'm gonna kill a couple more mushroom. Not gonna clear out this. Not gonna clear out th this biome here because this thing is pretty freaking massive. But I'm gonna be able to do something. Okay, let's see here: stone bricks, stick. Another flint and steel. So what am I making? Uh, for those of you who haven't done it before, this is how you make a mining portal in uh, the Aroma's Mine Dimension. You need to make a mining multi-tool first. So I need some stone bricks. I need a little bit of cobblestone, which I have in oh, that wrong thing, and massive amounts. Actually, I think I have three or four Java barrels full. That's quite a bit. So it's not very hard. Just need some of that. Need building materials. Let me see building materials. One and uh, three, four, four. Uh, close enough. There we go. I need two of those and that. Cool. So now that I have that thing, I need to make the mining. What are they called? Mining portal pieces. I'm like a portal. Here we go. Okay, so I need to make these portal frames. Uh, stone brick to one to one. I believe, I'm pretty sure it's a four by four, I think. So a half stack should do it. Uh, get some more of these. Actually, no, I'm just going to grab uh, a, a lot of the stone and do one there. So I think I have, I got some obsidian and I've got my other used pick. You can't use a, a, a regular flint and steel. You can't use a used flint and steel to make that. Multi tool has to be a fresh one. Oh, it's raining. Oh well. So I planted this tree here because I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to use in order to make the, the roof. What is this? Oh, that's right. Um, I got my ender lilies here. They, they're slowly coming up. This one's actually not too bad. What is it? 86%. So I should have that next day or so. Freaking slow. But you know, right now it's one of the best ways we have of getting of getting uh, ender pearls. Okay, so this smelt you are actually talking about making that into a permanent one for the base. So I'm not gonna, definitely not going to touch that. Then you just no, it didn't my imagination unless no okay it didn't just grow before my eyes that would have been kind of cool all right so here's my thinking I want to make over here on the sorry that's me I made a little staircase over there I want to make this uh, eastern side of our uh, village into the portal area so first I have to cut down some of these trees I actually planted most of these so no no worries there. I, 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 at least I planted them, and then I leveled some of the area out. Just to make it a little more livable. So I'm just going to take these, take these trees down. And uh, I'll figure out, let me, let me out, let me plant some smaller ones. So I want two portals here. I want one for mining, and I want one for, for the nether. 
Now, I'll try to do this carefully. I don't have that much obsidian on me. I think I have just enough to make a, a portal. One, two, three. Wait, is that right? No, not three across. No, it's two across. I'm, th I'm thinking wrong thing. See, already I made a mistake. That's fine though. So, one, two. One, two, three. One. One, two. And one. Oh, uh, there we go. So, that dirt's good enough. Cool. So let's light, let's light this thing and make sure it's the right shape. Yep, cool. One another portal. All ready to go. Uh, if you're asking why, how I got the obsidian, I actually got most of it from chest, believe it or not, but I also have an alamite hammer. That's how I was able to make that. So next to it, I want to make this mining portal, and I believe it's the same shape. I could be wrong about that. So I think it needs the same amount. I need uh, the 10, so let me just move one. There we go. So it does use, it use the durability of this thing. Actually, it might not be enough, come to think of it. Hmm. Well, let's see. If, if, if I'm forgetting how to do this, I will do it again. I'm pretty sure it's the same shape as another portal. Two. Oh, wait. Hold it. Hold it. I remember something important. It has to. It can't be the same exact thing. It has to have the edges filled in. I'm pretty sure about that. So I need more than that. There we go. That should re replenish itself. And I make a couple more. There we go, that should do it, and I don't need all these. I'm, I know he does not require the entire uh, multi-tool, but it requires most of it. So let's try with this. Two, is it one, two? One, two, three. Okay, let's try this and see if this works. So this will not work with this. It has to work with this, I believe. Yep, that's it. It was the same, it was the same shape. Cool. All right. So let, let, let's go with each one in turn, and is it nighttime or daytime? I can't tell. Ah, oh, well, here we go. Now, I know that uh, someone has been into another. I believe it was Scoops. I asked, I asked, Scoops is actually online right now, uh, and Mr. Mr. Payton is on and off <clears throat> at the moment. Let's see where this goes. I think it was Scoop who went into the nether in order to test uh, the theory about the um, mobs, or lack of mobs, that, that is. Oh, okay, here we go. We're in the nether. I think his words were, the nether is a ghost town. Do not dig up. Oh, I see why. Because we are underneath a lake of lava. So this is a lovely, lovely place. That thing... Oh, I don't know. Okay, I, it was kind of glitching there. Alright, so this is, this is not... Uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. We are in. Oh, I didn't know Botania had stuff in the Nether. Nether Mithril. I'm not even sure what Mithril is used for. I think it's actually. Oh no, Mithril. I think is like, uh, mana steel sort of purple mushrooms. This is kind of cool. Anyway, anyway, it's anyway, it's kind of nice. Okay, before you anything, I'm gonna mark this on my map. Now I'm pretty sure that the. Yeah, this is dungeon is a. Uh, dimension specific, so. Portal all, yeah, because it's, it's yeah. See, you see, it's dimension negative one. That's that's a uh, hell or the nether. You know, it's actually said. Let's say, it says. Uh, no, it, it doesn't say. Okay, it says biome hell. We also have um, from Natura, and I think actually I'm not sure about that. I think it's from Natura. What was that? Oh, it just must be a glitch. All right, so let's let's, let's get some. Other quartz while we're, while we're up here. I'm not going to do a long mining trip, but I do want, do want to get a little bit here. I'm looking forward to it. I, I remember in my um, very brief uh, Sky Factory 2 series, we went to the nether in there, Ferris Ore. It's kind of cool. And uh, in, in the nether in Sky Factory 2, they uh, jaded cat. No, they cat, but I hear ghast. I hear ghast, and I have a bow. Not a very good bow, granted. But I hear I hear a ghast, and that it's actually for well, it's gotta be well, well, oh wow, we're at Y level fourteen. I mean, I mean, I didn't notice that before. Okay, it's one thing to be underneath a lake of lava. It's another thing to be that low on a Y level. Hmm. 
Alright then, let me just cut through a little more of this, get as much as I need. I got a uh, half stack, it's not great. Okay, so he says do not dig up. So I'm assuming that's like here. So maybe over here might be a little, more, a little safer. This is going to be incredibly dangerous and I'm probably going to get myself killed. I will hopefully not get anybody else killed in the process. I don't know why it would. But okay, uh, also I need some... Where did I put... Oh, bow. Sorry, a little bit of inventory management problems here. So I'll use the iron. Might as well. I drop off that, 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 that. Uh, I want to keep the. Actually, I, oh yeah, I forgot about that. This works in Nether too, so I can I can go on here and scan some more stuff. Cool. Now I'm pretty sure they changed it so it's not necessarily all the items. Uh, okay, that should do it. So I'm, oh, I forgot the main thing I was looking for. I need food. Because you do not want to go up against any kind of mob in the nether when you are in need of food. Where is it? Uh, did I leave all my food in the overworld? I think I did. I think, okay, I think I may have seen some rotten flesh in there. Where is, okay, so yeah, I've got some rotten flesh. That's all the food I have. I, I have diamonds in there. Oh, I have, more, I have spare obsidian. Hmm, weird. Uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, so it's not the best, but it's what I got at the moment. Okay, it's going to give me a little bit of debuff. So let's carefully try and dig upwards. And I'm, I'm digging this direction because it seems to be away from the lake. I'm actually going to leave a torch. Two torches here. So anyone following me wants to come up this way. Might be a way up here. Oh, oh. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. I mean, it's a deja vu. Was it? Was it? Oh no! It, it was. Oh, that was a long time ago. Uh, once upon a time, I actually did a uh, brief. I guess you can call it a speed run. I think. Yeah, it's going away. I think so it takes a long time for lava to go away in the Nether. I did a speed run of witchery. See how fast I could get a broom. Unfortunately, my recording software crapped down on me after three attempts. Freaking annoying as hell. So that didn't really work for me. Yeah, you can actually uh, get lava to move away, go away a little bit faster if you uh, destroy their source blocks. But all right, so it looks like there's lava right here. So let me try like this. So I might get lucky, and we just have a small pool. Okay, so it looks like this way is safe. What's that? Miss more mithril. Okay, so be careful. Yeah, okay, so there's the lava. It's not moving. Let me take a look at it. Okay, the lava is... Ah, okay. I just remember, I mean, back, way back in the day, I used to be so afraid of... Oh, okay, so... Okay, so I'm getting drips here and there, but not... Oh, wait. Oh, that was quick. Are you thinking of me? All right, so there's one there too. So that one's not that way is not safe. Let me try it this way. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do, do this sort of awkwardly, and then we're gonna have a more stable way out of here eventually. Oh, there's more lava. Not here. Oh, there it is. There's lava, and not here. Anyway, that that that, that brief uh, attempt. Oh, there's more lava. Okay, so there's lava that way also. Shoot. Hmm. This is going to be a little harder than I thought. So I'm getting it in multiple directions here. Let me try one more direction. Then I'm going to go and do the and check the mining age out. I'm not going to actually do any mining right now. Actually, I've been recording for for a little while here. And while well, this is probably very interesting for you, though, loser. 
hoping we free me to die a fiery death. Yep, there's more lava right there. We are in fact under a freaking lava lake. Shoot. Okay. Uh, so this has been I can't get you for the TriCraft server, and uh, I'm standing under a lake of lava. I'll see you all next time.